Good morning, this is Hiren Trivedi from Access Securities presenting the Relief Fundamental View. First, let's update on the global markets. The US markets ended higher amid increase in oil prices, earnings releases by companies and upbeat economic data that showed US home resales rose more than expected in March. The Dow Jones gained 43 points or 0.24% to close at 18.096, while Nasdaq gained 8 points or 0.16% to close at 4948. Currently, most Asian markets are trading in the green, tracking queues from Wall Street overnight and as investors remain cautious on fluctuating oil prices. Indian indices are expected to open in the green and focus will be on domestic quarterly results. Currently, Nikkei is trading higher by 1.95% while Hang Seng is trading higher by 1.42% and Singapore Nifty is trading higher by 0.40%. Uh, coming to the key announcements to watch for, India's crude oil import bill nearly halved to $64 billion in 2015-16 as compared to $113 billion in, uh, in 2014-15. The road ministry targets laying over 40 km roads every day in 2016-17. Some of the key results that will be declared during the day are Hindustan Zinc, Indusin, Bank, C and Supreme Industries. Coming to company specific news, Bharti Airtel to sell off 5% stake in Bharti Infratel through an open market block deal today. Vipro reported a net profit of Rs. 2254.3 crores in Q4 FY16 as compared to Rs. 2286.5 crores in Q4 FY15. The company also announced to buy back shares worth Rs. 2500 crores. And lastly, Tide Water Oil will reportedly acquire UK based Price Thomas Holdings for 9.59 million pounds. Thank you.